Thank you, good afternoon. It is episode 37 of Notes from a Scottish Author with me, Barry Hutchison, aka JD Kirk. Today was supposed to be Q&A Friday, however I forgot, uh, not just that it was Q&A Friday, I forgot it was Friday. Um, and I don't unfortunately have time to go back into the office and get set up, so I'll try and do the live broadcast tomorrow. But I wanted to check in today, because today is day 40 of this 100 day fitness challenge of mine. Uh, I did my weigh in today. I've lost another three pounds, just over three pounds in the last 10 days. So about two pounds a week I'm losing. So overall that's 17 pounds now. And I think, I don't know what that is in kilos, seven point something kilos, 7.7 ish. So um, 17 pounds down in 40 days. I'm happy with that. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll keep going. If I can do the same again in the next 60 days, that'd be £34 down, which I'd be pretty happy with. So, uh, But we'll see what happens. While today is not Q&A Friday, uh, there was one question I was asked that I thought I would quickly answer. It was on asked on the um, Team Space Team Facebook group, and it was why I made Cal Carver the main uh, protagonist of Space Team why I made him come from Philadelphia in the United States, a city I have never been to beyond uh, using the airport a couple of times. And there are, there are a few different reasons, none, none of them particularly major, but the one, the one, the biggest reason of all is way back when uh, I was, uh, was, I was I asked to be UK contributing editor to Fifth Street Poker magazine despite the fact I had not ever played poker in my life prior to that point. Um, this was about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, no, longer than that, 15 years ago, 15, 16 years ago, something like that anyway. Um, and I had to, I got invited to go on a poker cruise, the World Poker Showdown cruise around the Caribbean, uh, which was lovely. That was the first thing I had to do. I had to spend a week cruising around the Caribbean I got to take part in the poker tournament. The magazine bought me into the poker tournament. The idea was that I would write an article about being a newcomer, how I got on in the, the tournament, you know, how, how I ranked. Uh, I lasted seven minutes in the tournament and then I was knocked out. And I spent the rest of the week just swimming in beaches and, and enjoying life on the upper decks while everyone else waited or kind of played poker in that dungeon-like bowels of the ship surrounded by cigar smoke and, and cheap aftershave or expensive aftershave it was quite an expensive thing um, but to get to this cruise I had to fly to Florida it was all arranged last minute so to get to Florida I had to fly from Glasgow to London London to Philadelphia Philadelphia to Florida uh, and it was uh, it was a long flight I, I, I left really early in the morning I left like five o'clock in the morning from Glasgow Airport I had to drive down the night before got to Philadelphia, I had like a long seven hour wait at Philadelphia Airport um, and then I had to fly from Philadelphia to Florida to Orlando and then it was a drive out to the port but um, the flight from Philadelphia to Orlando what I hadn't realised, it was on a Saturday evening, what I hadn't realised was the next day was the Super Bowl where the Philadelphia Eagles were playing in Florida and so I got on this this plane, and it was like a like a sports team bus. Basically, everyone was just was just stamping their feet and cheering, and celebrating the Philly Eagles. I was the only one on the plane that wasn't headed for the Super Bowl, I think. And about kind of fifty, I was knackered. I was absolutely exhausted. I could, you know, I hadn't slept in ages. I've been crammed on the plane for such a long time, and uh, utterly exhausted. And about kind of half an hour into the flight. The captain came over the tannoy and says, "Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking." And I thought, "Thank God, they're going to they're going to calm all this down now, uh, and I'll be able to get some sleep." And he said, "So he said, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I'd just like to take the opportunity to say, go Eagles!" And everyone on the plane went batshit crazy, cheering, stomping their feet, hugging each other, um, and. Something about that mo moment kind of turned it into quite a weirdly joyous experience and I started really um, feeling part of it and the, the, the people on either side kind of very much went out of the way to make me part of this celebration. No idea who won to this day. I was on a boat by then, but um, 
I don't think it was the Philadelphia Eagles from memory, but uh, you know, I hope they did. Uh, so that was it. So that that kind of bonding moment with all these uh, people from Philadelphia who were going to watch the Super Bowl stayed with me, and I've kind of quite liked Philadelphia ever since. It could have gone either way. I could have absolutely hated Philadelphia as a result of that, but uh, I, I've kind of liked it ever since and, and wanted to spend more time there. Um, and I haven't got around to it yet, but I, I, I will do soon. So, so that is why Cal Carver is from Philadelphia because of that Super Bowl 15 years ago or thereabouts and the awful plane journey that it caused for me. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with a live video. Uh, look for it on Facebook. Probably about 2 o'clock-ish, thereabouts. So I shall see you then. Bye for now.